Hey guys, I'm Dave here with Redwater Dodge and RigReadyRams.com. You can hop on that website at any time and check out a bunch of the trucks that we've done up just to give you guys some ideas of different ways you can build these trucks. Very flexible down here, four, six inch lifts, level kits, 35 inch tires, 17 inch rims, whatever you guys need, we can do a lot of different ranges and a lot of different brands and models and makes out there. We can get basically all of them guys that you can imagine. Um, today I'm going to be showing you two 2014 one ton 3500 Laramie blacktop editions. Uh, black top meaning these trucks from factory are completely blacked out. Normally with the heavy duties you're going to have a chrome grill and a chrome bumper, especially with the Laramies. Uh, these ones here are completely blacked out. Very, very clean looking truck. So what we've done, both of these trucks are both very, very similar. So I'm going to go through this one very in depth. And then I'm just going to show you the only difference on that one being the rims. So this one here does have the painted to match uh, pocket style molded fender flares. We do have the kickback mud flaps that are Rhino line. These are 37 inch Baja ETZ Mickey Thompson tires. Um, we've been doing the 37 inch tires on the one tons and 2500s with the six inch lifts. You can go to the 35 inch option um, or if you go to the four inch, I recommend the 35 inch option. Uh, these rims here are 20 inch machined um, hostile rims. They've been doing a very, very good job with their rims. So we've been uh, buying quite a few different hostile rims. Uh, very unique uh, designs as well that they do on these rims. Uh, we do have the full tow package on both these trucks as well. Um, that allows for these tow meters here. They can flip out for uh, better accessibility to the seat in your trailer. And coming into the cab here, like right off the bat, like I said, fully loaded Laramie trucks. So you have the sunroof at the very top. And then if you work your way down, you see the auto dimming rear view mirror. There's nice LED lights all throughout the cab as well, making it very, very beautiful. You're driving at nighttime, you get a nice blue um, appearance. And you do have the 8.4 inch touchscreen with navigation and a built-in satellite radio with one year series subscription. You do have a built-in trailer brake controller, uh, built-in exhaust brake. These seats are heated and air conditioned as well as ventilated and your steering wheel is heated. And you do have power seats with lumbar support on both sides. This is a crew cab. You can go to the mega cab option if you'd like, gives you a little bit more extra room behind the seat and you can obviously fold that back and you have adjustments for, uh, for moving that seat as well. Uh, with this one here with the crew cab, something that's very unique going up to the crew cab, especially with Ram trucks, right underneath the floor mat here, you have these great storage compartments which can act as coolers, making it very easy. You want to pull that out, dump your ice water out, going on hunting, very good idea. And uh, you lift these up here, you can pull the bench out underneath the seats, like so, allowing for better cargo storage, and you can do that on both sides. And if you actually flip this up, you have a nice Alpine built-in subwoofer there as well. And this uh, this truck is equipped with the full Alpine stereo system. Very, very high-end, good quality stereo system in these trucks. Uh, this one here does have the fifth wheel prep group, meaning uh, that you do have the uh, fifth wheel prep built into the truck. Um, it's already ready to go, and you do have all your wiring ready set up in the truck. You do have a spray and bed liner too, and you have a rear sliding window that you can electronically control from the front of the cab. We've been doing a nice little uh, end exhaust tip here and uh, just kind of black the truck fully out. It's an MBRP exhaust tip, flat black. And of course with these lifted trucks guys, they're kind of difficult to move around parking lots, back up, hook up to a trailer, that sort of thing. So you have a backup camera right here. If you have a hitch on your truck, you want to back up to a trailer. Very efficient guys, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to need somebody behind your truck telling you how to back up. Um, you can back right up to your hitch, you see directly to it. As well, you're part driving around a parking lot in Edmonton, um, just the convenience of it, guys. This truck, as you can see, I'm about 5'10", sits a lot higher than I do, and uh, make it very difficult to, or very, very difficult to run anything over with the sensors that they have equipped on here. But uh, it's like a proximity sensor. The closer you get to an object, the more aggressively it's going to beep at you, and the backup camera fully spans the width of the back yeah. of the truck. These lights on these trucks, very good lights as well. They're HID lights, Lexan coated, very top lens on these trucks too. And the only differences between these two trucks, like I said, guys, is the rims. These rims here are a, a machined hostile 20 inch rim as well. And these are six inch BDS lifts, like on all the trucks we've been doing. No fine print warranties, you can't go wrong. And I just want you to come around to the front here and show you the last little piece that we've been doing on all these heavy duty 2500, 3500 trucks is that dual steering stabilizer. Looks very aggressive and mean from the front. And obviously being a high setting truck, it's going to look pretty cool from the front as well. And that's uh, Dave again from Redwater Dodge, guys. And if you want to contact us, our number down here is 780-942-3629. Be glad to help you guys out. You can build your own truck online as well or just throw me an email. Thanks so much.